Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie and welcome to Bonnie Beauty Hub. Hello. So today we're going to review a foundation from Lisa Eldridge. So if you don't know Lisa Eldridge, please Google her. She is such an iconic makeup artist. I love her work. I would describe her style as an elegant diva. She is so beautiful and her makeup is so amazing. She's come out with quite a few books of hers with different makeup techniques, which I want to buy. It's, it is a perfect coffee table book, at least for me. I have always loved her work. I've followed her for a very long time, but surprisingly, I haven't bought anything from her brand before. So now when I saw that she's coming up with foundations, if you see the packaging of the foundation, you will go bonkers because it is so beautiful. So I immediately went and placed an order. So I bought a foundation and the lipstick. I'm not reviewing the lipstick, but I'll talk about the lipstick at the later part of the video. Just I can tell you how I feel about it. But today we're going to talk about the foundation. First, let me show you how I got the package. So this is how the package looks. And this is only for the foundation. I did order the lipstick as well, but that was a different order. So I got that in a different package and then it is so well wrapped up and I did take the sample um, the foundation shade sheet so that I thought if this shade doesn't match I would have shades darker than this to see if it matches me but I hope this matches me. So this is how the packaging looks. It is as I told you elegant diva style see how beautiful it is and this is how you open it up and it stands it's like a pebble it's it, it's so cute look at this look at the packaging oh my god and when I saw the packaging for the first time so I haven't tried the foundation but I did open it up once so I just wanted to see so that it would be easier for me to talk to you about it so when I saw the shape of this, I was like, oh, okay, so maybe this shape is for me to hold the foundation like this. But then I saw the entire video of Lisa Elrich talking about this foundation. So the purpose of this shape on this is to just lay it on the table so that it don't it doesn't roll down so if you've been watching me for quite some time now you'd know anything with gold or rose gold especially based on white or black i am a sucker for it and i love the packaging so yeah this packaging just steals my heart it is so unique it is so different it is nothing around that you can find in the market and it is beautiful it is a glass bottle so it is slightly heavy but I, I, i'm not complaining about it i would still travel with this i would just wrap it with a bubble wrap and still travel with it so let's get on with the foundation itself so it comes with a pump the pump is also gold normally the pump is mostly black the pump is also gold on this i am in the shade 20 if i didn't tell that before so yeah so let's see the formulation i am excited okay so this is the formulation it is um it is a little bit thick let me touch it i am just trying to feel the texture and it's very soft it's very creamy it's not too liquidy and it's not too moussey it it has a kind of a liquidy creamy texture and the formulation it is a satin formula so if you have oily skin you can use a mattifying primer i have i have oily combination skin and i'm using the tatcha liquid silk canvas primer this is my die hard primer so that is what i'm using so because i have a little bit on my finger we're going to try all three methods i've seen lisa eldridge she was using it with her fingers so i'm going to use it with my finger as well i love using foundations or tinted moisturizers with fingers because the warmth of your finger would help the foundation blend even well with your skin so i'm going to try it with my finger i have my foundation brush and a beauty blender so we're going to try all three methods and see how it works so with my finger i'm going to do my forehead so i'm just taking this product and that is it i did not expect the shade to match this well but the shade is bang on all 
all right i would not call this full coverage this is medium light to medium coverage but i'm layering one more layer over here and let's see i like the way it's layering with my fingertips so i'm gonna take one more pump this is one more pump the pump is very little so when you i feel it is oxidizing do you see the color difference do you see the color difference of this and the foundation that I've taken right now? I have a slight feeling that it's oxidizing, but we'll check on that later as well. So the pump, I love the amount of product that it is throwing out. It throws very less product. So sometimes in few foundations, you take one pump and it has so much product and you end up throwing away the product. So this pump is also amazing. It just throws very little product so that you can take whenever you need more. All right, so this side I'm gonna use with my brush. For some reason, I liked it blending it out with a brush rather than blending it with my fingers, normally which is completely opposite because it blended out within seconds. No patchiness, no uh, brush lines on my face. It blended out so evenly, so smooth on my skin and I love the color match. And this is just one pump, one layer. So we're gonna layer it again. I'm taking another pump and another layer. All right, so this is two pumps, two layers. It layers so beautifully. It is so seamless. It is so smooth, so easily blendable and it is medium, it is a buildable medium coverage. I would not call it full coverage. The reason it's blending so well and it looks so smooth on the skin is because it's medium coverage. I'm sure if it was super full coverage, it would have become patchy, the amount I'm layering, but I love the finish it's giving me. So this is the side with two layers and this is the side with no foundation at all. So I have foundation on my forehead, on this side, two layers and this side. So look just see how perfectly it's matching my skin and it is so smooth so seamless and it's like a no makeup makeup foundation i love the way it's looking so i'm going to use my beauty blender now so another one pump we're just going with one pump each time all right so i have my damp beauty blender It has quickly covered up my uh, acne spots over here and normally when you compare a brush with a beauty blender you would know that the beauty blender it gives you a more sheer coverage and the brush side it gives you more a, a heavier coverage but this is giving me the equal amount of coverage that is so weird so i'm gonna layer it with one more pump and let's see how it looks Okay, so I have two layers on all the places on my forehead, on both the sides of my face, and I don't see any difference, which is just cracking me up. And wow, it's absolutely the same. I'm just taking a closer look on my mirror. And with the brush, with the blender, with my fingertip, it looks a little bit drier, but with the brush or the beauty blender, it looks more of a healthy, natural, the perfect satin finish wow i think i would not go with my fingers i would either go with a brush or a beauty blender and it has covered up my acne scars this side i have more scars than the other side and this is the side i used a beauty blender where i thought it would give more of a sheer coverage but it has still covered up my acne scars i love the way it is looking i do have hyperpigmentation over here and near my mouth and i can see the hyperpigmentation coming through so that is why i'm saying it is not full coverage foundation but it is a medium to buildable coverage all right so the time right now is 7 58 in the morning so i'm going to finish up my full phase of makeup and i'm going to be right back to talk a little bit more about the product but we will still be doing the 8 hour wear test today and the way it is looking i just have a lot of expectations from this that i want it to look the same way as it is right now and the color is such a good match for my skin tone which is so hard to get a perfect skin tone match 
for especially brown skin so yeah i'm excited about all the things that i'm seeing right now so yeah let me just quickly do my makeup and i'll be right back all right so i did go for a very simple look i did try out her lipstick i tried her lipstick in the shade uh, blushing light it is her velvet lipstick blushing light the packaging as always it's pretty it has a magnetic top and it went on so smooth so well mm. it is a matte finish yeah it is a velvety finish not a matte finish and it is so light weighted and it's I, I feel beautiful all right so we're not here to talk about the lipstick though I just wanted to give a thumbs up for the lipstick we are here to talk about the foundation so let me take a closer look oh my god I love the way it is looking right now my pores are completely smoothed out it is totally blended into my skin so well and it looks as a part of my skin uh, just because I have all the makeup we know that I'm wearing makeup but otherwise it is seamless the finish is amazing all right so i hope it stays this way entire day long so let's talk a little bit about the foundation so this retails for 61 dollars and it comes in 40 shades so the shade range is also really good to talk a little bit about the foundation itself it says it is a intelligently formulated skin friendly foundation so this is a customizable medium coverage formulation and it is self-setting so that is why I haven't set it with any powder I have just used all powder products I've used bronzer and a blush I haven't used a highlighter because I don't want to improvise the glow because I want to see how much glow this gives by itself so I haven't used a highlighter so if you see my skin glowing that is all the foundation I have the blush that I wore it has a little bit of sheen to it but otherwise it's all the foundation and it has a noticeable soft focus effect and that is what I was talking about so my skin looks like it has a soft focus filter on my face because my imperfections are all smoothed out it's so blended and it looks beautiful the formulation contains a natural mesh like ingredient which completely fuses with skin after blending so once you blend it into your skin it takes third three minutes for the ingredients to activate and then your skin looks smoothless effortless and very pretty and that's what i'm feeling right now so this is fragrance free alcohol free this is vegan and it is really really good for sensitive skin this doesn't have talc no fragrance and yeah let's talk about the ingredients because i am a person who always get into the ingredients and that is what excites me the most so the first ingredient is i just put the names over here all right whenever i pronounce it the first ingredient is oxygen skin so as the name states this helps to produce oxygen in your skin and that is how it keeps it healthy for a longer time it boosts hydration and keeps your skin smooth for a longer time it has UG tea extract which is a Japanese green tea extract and this is an antioxidant so it would help with inflammation and uh, premature aging it has Filmexcel so this is a brilliantly clever biopolymer network that forms a resistant and flexible mesh on the skin so this is the ingredient that activates within three minutes and helps your skin have the soft focus finish for a longer time as well it has glycerine which again it improves the moisture on your skin it has bamboo stem extract so this is really good for oily skin because this helps to absorb the sebum that's in your skin and it would keep your skin hydrated without drying out for a longer time so i love the ingredients in it and as i told you it comes in 40 shades and it retails for 61 dollars all right so i am all ready to kick start my day i am happy the way it looks so i'm already happy the day i feel it's going to be a very good day today so yeah hopefully it stays this way entire day long because i have a lot of expectations from isa elridge her i would talk about the lipstick as well though it's unnecessary but i would still tell you about it so yeah, I am going to get on with my day and I will come back in intervals or by the end of eight hours and show you how it looks and talk more about this foundation. So see you soon. Hi there. I'm back for my final check-in. The time is 4.22 and it's eight and a half hours. Yes, I was a little busy, so the time went overboard, which is a good thing. Um, I am looking at my face right now and... I like it. I like the way it looks. 
Uh, I do see a little bit of oil coming through my skin, but it is nothing overboard. It's nothing that is emphasizing my pores or my textures. I can see a little bit of shine over here, right at my cheek area and on my nose area, but that is not emphasizing my textures as well. I can still see, I have a lot of texture over here. I can still see my skin really smooth and I like the way it hasn't oxidized. The very first time I applied it on my face, when I had a little bit on my hand, I felt it was oxidizing. So I wanted to see if it oxidizes, but uh, that is specifically what Lisa Eldridge was talking about. She told the concept behind this foundation and she started working on this just because she had models where when they were using foundations, it was oxidizing. It was changing color a lot. So she wanted to find a foundation that does not change color on any skin type. So if that was what happened, then it would have ruined the entire concept of Lisa Elrich because she does not want her foundation to oxidize or change color. So I'm happy to see that it didn't change color. I'm happy to see that it still matches my skin tone, my neck, my face, everything is in the same color. There's a little bit of oil coming through and I did not use a mattifying primer. I used the Tatcha primer, which is a skin perfecting primer but it is not a mattifying primer and this is a satin foundation so if you have oily skin you have to wear a mattifying primer otherwise you would have a little bit of oil coming through and this is the amount of oil that i normally like because i don't like my face to be flat matte i don't like it to be dried out so this amount of oil peeking through is acceptable for me so yeah i like the way it looks i'm not wearing any highlighter but my blush has a little bit of sheer to it and i like the way it is looking i have the beauty blender that i used this morning so i'm just going to do a slight touch up and see how it works with a touch up i don't have any product on this this is the blender that i used to do my foundation concealer this morning so it is it's not too dry but it's not damp as well. I'm just going to press it over the areas where there's a little bit of oil and we'll see how it works. Oil is immediately gone. All right, so see the difference on this side and this side. This side, you can see it a little bit more glowier than this side because I've just did the touch up and it hasn't taken off the foundation. It is not moving my foundation. I do have smile lines over here and a little bit of lines over here as well, but it is not settling on any of my lines and I haven't used any powder. It is a self setting foundation. So I did not set it with the powder. So yeah, it's working great so far. All right, so I've just touched up with this beauty blender where I did not have any product. I just wanted to take off the oil that's sitting on my skin and that's what it has done. It hasn't taken off the foundation and I love the way it is sitting on my skin. I can still see my bronzer, my blush. It hasn't eaten up any of the product that sat on top of it. It is so beautiful. And I also want to give a mention to the lipstick. I haven't touched up the lipstick at all. I had my breakfast, I had my lunch, I had my snack in the evening and the lipstick still lasts. It is getting a bit dry on my lips, but by the end of the day, if it gets dry like this, you can just use a lip scrub, take off the dry scaliness from your lips and use a good lip balm. So for the next day, you're good to go. So these type of lipsticks, you cannot wear it every day because it dries out on your lip, but look, at the pigmentation it stays put all day long so yeah i know the foundation is a little bit pricey it retails for 61 dollars it comes in 40 shades but it has a lot of skincare ingredients yeah it is an indie brand you don't get it in sephora or ulta if you are in london then she has a pop-up store i think the pop-up store is right now also open i don't know for how long she has it but you can walk up to a pop-up store she would be there at times and you can shade match and look at all the colors and buy it for yourself but i think this is a foundation truly worth to talk about it is beautiful it has beautiful ingredients it works amazing on the skin i am in my late 30s and it works amazing on my skin as well so yeah that is my verdict i love it if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you once again for supporting watching my video till the end and i'll see you all in my next video bye